Hello and welcome to this fifth episode of my 52 project. My name is Gustav Jansson and I'm a photographer from Gothenburg in Sweden. Uh, this week I will talk about this portrait of a man living in Gothenburg whose uh, house boot has been uh, taken by the police and uh, his uh, project is uh, ruined. Uh, this is a very important photo for me probably one of my most important. I've been walking this uh, quay uh, up and down for like three, four years and taking photos of, of the boats and the details and uh, everything. And uh, this year is my goal is to, to start taking photos of the people owning boats on, uh, on this uh, quay. And uh, this is the second one. I had the uh, the first one was taken uh, two weeks ago, or three weeks, if you count the, the delay of the release of this podcast. To start, I, I met this guy uh, like in spring 2022 for the first time. He had uh, placed a, a boat on the, um, on the land and uh, I met him and... Um, we started to talk about it and he said uh, he wants to make uh, a cafe and a scene of the boot, uh, renovate it and, and make something out of it that uh, could help people play music and uh, listen to music and eat, eat uh, a good sandwich or something, I don't know really. But uh, I, guess, I guess he wanted to make, to make something out of almost nothing. And that boot, he said, had be, been on the water surface like three or five times, I think. So um, this this will be the boot's legacy, or or how you say. I think that was the purpose, and um, and the boot stood there uh, for like yeah for this uh, for almost the whole of 2022 at least from spring to the to this uh, start of February or end of January uh, and behind the boat uh, in the water he had a houseboat where he lived and uh, and this Monday uh, a week ago I uh, I took my bike home from work and um, when I passed by this place, I saw him talking to the police and his neighbors <coughs> and his neighbors. In the water, there were there were a, there were a boat as well, uh, and the boat for me, I, I didn't recognize it, and I thought to myself that must be a, that must be a boat from the police or the coast guard or something. So one case was that they found something on the bottom of the river uh, or someone, but uh, that <laughs> sounds more like a movie. But uh, the other thought was uh, this man, this man will leave his, uh, will leave his uh, boat and his, uh, and his home. Uh, and uh, it was the, uh, the, other, the other thought, uh, because next time I passed by, uh, the day after this boat was uh, the boat on the on the ground was uh, was taken away it was just a pile of trash and uh, branches and his houseboat uh, in the water was uh, was taken away as well so um, i understood the situation that monday was uh, yeah, it was it was the end of his uh, his home, and uh, now he needs to uh, find something new. We will fast travel to Friday before this weekend, and uh, the same situation. I was on my way on my bike to the train, and uh, I have uh, I have to to get in time for the train, uh, but I saw 
I saw this man and probably his friend uh, taking stuff out of a container next to where he, his boat stood. So I, I thought to myself, he he takes he takes his stuff now and uh, and take them to to another place. I had to stop and ask for a portrait, but uh, I had to catch the train. Uh, and also, I I still have some some voice in my brain saying, no, don't uh, don't ask, don't ask for a photo. It's a stupid voice. Uh, I know it, and I I learn to uh, to take it away from my from from my brain. But I had an excuse this this time, so um, I just passed by. But. After two, three hundred meters or so, I thought to myself, uh, "What the heck, guy? I, I need to turn back and and ask this guy." I've been walking here for like three, four years, and uh, this this is his house, his uh, where he lives, his home uh, that's been taken away, and his uh, project, and this boat that would be a, a great scene for. For small mu musicians here in Gothenburg, it would it would be. I I see his uh, his dream of this uh, this place, and uh, the place is even called the, the Quay of Dreams. So there will be more trains. I thought to myself, but there will never be a chance to to ask for a portrait here. In the ruins of his uh, of his dreams. So I, I stopped my bike and turned back, uh, asked for a portrait, and I could. Uh, he was glad to. So uh, we 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 walked to this uh, to this area where his uh, boat stood, and um, he stood there, and I could get the, to get the ruins after his his boat, and I could get the, the river. In the background as well, where his uh, house put was. So this um, this scene, it talks very much for his past years, uh, where he lived and where he where he built his his creativity. So I decided to make this black and white, uh, taken with my like M10 and my 35 millimeter f2. I really want the 50 meter, 50 millimeters, but um, I'm glad I I had this uh, 35 this time, so I could get the whole scene with a 50 millimeter. I think I would go closer and uh, take a more more um, personal portrait of of his face and maybe his uh, shoulders and uh, and so. But this this gets the whole scene. This gets the whole story behind behind him. Uh, and behind his life, you can see a table. You can see what's uh, what's left of the the things holding up the boat on the ground. The big boards on his right side, and um, in these ruins, uh, you can't see it on the on the picture. But in the middle of all the logs and uh, branches, there are uh, there are a lot small details that. Uh, that speaks for a speaks for a home, and speaks for someone uh, someone living there. So it's it's a bit depressing scene, but um, and I think you can see it in his uh, expression that he he's um, disappointed of the situation, of course, obviously, because the police took his uh, took his house uh, to. To make his trash of it, and um, I, I, I got his messenger, uh, so I could send these photos to him. But um, I guess my message ended up in his uh, trash uh, trash box, or came as a message inquiry in Facebook, and that's not always uh, 100% obvious that you got one. So probably he missed he missed my message or he doesn't look doesn't look his uh, messenger 
that often i don't know really but um i hoped for a for a half an hour or an hour so i could talk to him and uh, ask some questions about his life and uh, his uh, his relationship to this quay and his um, his future now when they took his boat so i could add that to to this micro podcast that would probably bo- be more a more longer podcast in that case but uh, he hadn't replied or even seen these messages so uh, i will wait and see if he will reply in that case i would be very happy to uh, to ask for an interview or or just a chat and uh, talk about to bo- talk about this situation uh, and in that case i i would be glad to share it in a future in a future episode of this uh, project and uh, of course take take another photo of uh, of that situation uh, the interview situation um but but for this i don't i don't want to to talk about this man and my thought about it about him because I don't know anything about him except he's a musician living in a houseboat here in Gothenburg and um, I guess many people have uh, stereotypes of him and other people living along the quay um, of course I have it as well but I I want to um, I want to uh, take them away I don't want to have them so I just think they want to live a a life outside the 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 hamster wheel. Uh you could put it that way. Um I think they they are creative people like in in the heart for real in the soul and um that they want to live live there and uh live for the creativity. I think I think so, uh, and I really hope I really hope I could could get half an hour or so to talk to this to this man and um, get a bigger view of his life and uh, his life choices and uh, and ruin those stereotypes f- from my head and um, from uh, other people said uh make make it clear that you can you can live an alternative life without being a a criminal or yeah or alcoholic or something like that you can live you can live in a house boot in the city and just just have a different life and and i think people needs to respect that and respect their choices of life uh yeah but uh, if i if i get an interview i will guarantee make a new episode about this uh, this man and his his life until then or until next week i would like to thank you listening to this uh, episode i hope you liked this uh, portrait and uh, this story and uh, if you did uh, please subscribe if you haven't and uh, please uh, make a thumbs up for this video to be more exposed here on YouTube. Uh thanks. Bye.